Now, I, yeah. uh, we've all seen ads um, uh, on TV about new prescription drugs. In those ads, the patients are always cheery. They're playing golf, they're playing tennis, or they're in, with their family celebrating a birthday. And in the background, so you see all that activity. And in the background, the announcer is saying very quickly in a quiet voice that this medicine has the following side effects, and many of them, and they tell you, can lead to death. Yeah. All right? Now, they're influencing the patients, right? Now, this is not an over-the-counter drug. And I can understand you're influencing people. But they influence the patient to ask the doctor for that drug because I've seen it on TV and it worked for those people. Yeah. Now, th that should I, th I would think that's unethical to advertise to the, to the patients who have no ability to buy the drug. See, I think that's that's it, uh, an abuse of advertising. I, I think industry direct advertising from industry to patients should just be they shouldn't allow it. Like they don't allow cigarette ads anymore. You know, right. you're right because then they come to you and you know they're like, you don't know about this or like, why aren't you giving me this? And again, what I I think patients can. I think if a patient listens, what can they take home? If you're at least in the field of oncology, if your doctor is prescribing. A, a, a given drug, just ask them two simple questions that they should know. Has this been shown in a well-designed study to make me live longer or, or, or feel better? And how do we do feel better? We have great scoring systems where we look at quality of life metrics and you can do that. And if the doctor doesn't know, he should be able to look it up. And if he can't find it, then maybe think hard about not getting on that drug. Or, or changing doctors. Yeah, or, yeah, <laughs> well. <laughs>